Hey there, this is my fourth tutorial in series of SQL tutorials and today we will be doing queries for creating table and modifying some of its attributes. We have done, uh, we have created tables uh, graphically in the first tutorial. If you haven't watched it, uh, watched it, you can just go back and watch the tutorial. So let's create a new database, uh, create database, database name. SQL tutorial 4 and I select it execute it it's executing okay command get completed successfully now if I refresh it I'll have this database here we have done it in the previous tutorials as well so now I use SQL tutorial auto completion is showing me this execute and now I, I'll be executing all my queries in this particular database. So now to create table using query. I use create table as I've mentioned irrespective of which object you are creating you will be using create command. So create table give the table a name. So let's name it table gender. Table gender and programmers out there you must be used to of using curly braces but in SQL server we have these not the curly braces but the round ones so to create table table gender let's have three columns in this table uh, name the first column as ID and it's give its data type int next column as name and give its data type n where care and give the maximum number of characters this column can have and the next column is gender id and in gender id the call data type is int that's all we need to do create to create a table select it execute it and command completed successfully so now if you expand sql tutorial for database and expand the tables we have dbo.tablegender here okay so we have created our tab first table successfully using the SQL query. Now, what if you wanted to make some change? Uh, okay, right now, let's see what we have in this table. So to see all the data you have in the table, you'll use select, select query, select star. The star means select everything. Select star from table gender. Use the auto completion select it execute it so it's showing the table schema but not anything inside those tables obviously because we haven't inserted any values to insert data in the table we use insert insert command insert into table gender values and uh, let's add the value 001 and let's name it Simran and <coughs> gender is uh, we have to add the gender ID so let's add one here next we have let's copy it from here so that we don't have to type it over and over again for the next two times okay so changing some data let's name it Trove and gender ID is 2 and let's name it Gagan gender ID is 3 so now if I select these okay we don't have need to have this separator here and if I select this execute it and I have 3 rows affected I have successfully added the data in this table and now if I do select star from table gender it will show me all the data I have inserted so we inserted the data successfully now what if you wanted to delete some column let's say we wanted to delete the gender ID column now if you are deleting something again you are modifying something and irrespective of which object you are modifying you will use the alter command so for that purpose alter table gender alter table gender drop I have this table right table gender why is it showing an error okay we'll check it out later 
drop column and which column we are going to drop give its name gender okay that's because I haven't added the keyword here alter table table gender the error is gone gender ID so we need to drop this column called gender ID from the table called table gender I select it execute it and now if I do select star from table gender execute the table uh, the gender ID column is gone so now what if I wanted to add a new column here let's add the same column again in this table so while dropping the column we use the drop column keyword but now while adding the co new column we'll use alter table give it a name table gender now when we are adding a new column we don't need to use the column keyword but instead we'll use add mm. what were we doing we were adding gender id column and give it data type as well alter table gender ge table gender add gender id int command completed successfully select start from table gender and now we have the gender id table here as well but it showing all the values now as we don't have any values we haven't added any values in the gender id column yet okay so now what if you wanted to change the data type of one of your columns for that purpose the command is alter table again if you are changing something you'll be using alter table command alter table table gender modify modify is the keyword to be used here modify Mm, which uh, we need to change the data type of gender ID column from in to care let's say it. so we'll you add gender ID and next is its data type let's change it to nvar care 2 why is it showing an error mm, okay modify column I hope it goes away now. Doesn't. Mm. Okay. Still giving some error. I think it should not be giving so. Okay, so we had to use alter keyword here. Use alter gender ID and varcar alter column gender id and where care and finally the error is gone i select it execute it and now the uh, data type of gender id column has been changed from in to n by care with the maximum limit of maximum number of characters to two so with this we end, come to the end of our tutorial today if you find it helpful don't forget to subscribe to the channel thank you bye bye